Hi, welcome to another video. So, I have been covering Zed for a while on this channel. I recently covered it when they introduced their Agent Panel Beta. It was really good, and it was very early, but still awesome. They were kind enough to give me early access at that time, and that's why I was able to make that video. Since then, I've been using Zed as my main editor for a while now, and that's why I thought to talk about this. Now, Zed is a fully open source AI editor that is built on Rust from scratch and by the creators of Atom, which was an editor I used to like in earlier times. It is not a VS code fork or anything like that. It's built from scratch and is probably the fastest editor that you'll ever see. Leaving out NeoVim, of course. It takes up a lot less memory footprint than Cursor, VS Code, or Windsurf, because this is not based on Electron. Instead, it's built on Rust, which is much faster. It even runs at 120 FPS, like it's a game, which is kind of awesome if you ask me. The speed is something that you'll surely appreciate when you use it. Anyway, so Zed is probably the only open source editor that you can use if you don't want to use VS Code, because the editor landscape built from scratch is pretty much deserted these days. Now, Zed launched their AI features in their editor a while back, which were great, but it wasn't agentic and didn't allow you to use it like you use Klein, because it couldn't directly edit files and stuff like that. But now, they have launched their agent panel, which makes it pretty awesome. I covered it in the last video, but now it's out of beta and waitlist, and you can use it yourself without messing around with stuff. It's currently only available for Mac and Linux, but Windows support is also being rolled out and is now in early access. You can join the waitlist and use it, or you can also build it from source and use it as well if you wish to. Anyway, this new agent panel is super similar to Windsurf's Cascade, Cursor's Agent, Klein, and RuCode. You can give it a prompt, and it can edit files, read files, use MCP server, and stuff like that. But the best part about Zed is that since it's open source, they don't force you to buy a subscription. You can put in your own API keys and use them, making sure that you're always getting the full model. You can even configure it to use something like Ader. They do have a subscription if you don't want to mess around with the setup of models, which is really good and actually competitive. You get about 50 Zed hosted prompts per month, along with 2,000 edit predictions on the free tier. Or, for $20 a month, you can get about 500 prompts per month, along with usage-based billing beyond 500 which means that it will cost you the same as what the API costs if you use it generally, which is kind of cool. You also get unlimited edit predictions. You also get a 14-day trial for the $20 plan, and you don't need any card or anything for the trial, which is quite awesome. But you can also ditch these plans and use it with your own API keys and just use it personally and locally if you want which is also cool. Now, let me show you how you can set it up and use it. But before we do that, let me tell you about On Demand. On Demand is an all-in-one ultimate AI operating system that can help you create AI agents and AI automation workflows in literal seconds. You can create a bunch of actionable agents like social media posting agents for LinkedIn, Instagram, and Twitter. Or you can also build agents for automated trading and anything else you'd want. And it's not just that, because On Demand also has an agent flow builder that allows you to assemble agents, model endpoints, fulfillment prompts, and chat prompts into one cohesive workflow. You can schedule these workflows to execute at custom intervals like every minute, hourly, 
daily, weekly, monthly, or anything like that. It even has an advanced voice mode, which allows you to make voice agents, which is amazingly cool. You can also make it deliver outputs via email, Slack, or actionable agents. Currently, they are giving out free $50 credits that you can use to try it fully free and get some pretty cool stuff made with it. So, make sure that you check them out and start building some great stuff now. Now, back to the video. So, make sure that you install Zed if you haven't already, or you can also update it to the latest version. Now, if we hit the assistant panel, it now opens up the new agent panel. You can still open the older thread panel by clicking the add option and then the thread option, which will take you to the older stuff. Anyway, there's no need to use this anymore because the new agent panel is pretty insane. So, it's simple to understand. You can see the past threads along with the option to type in a prompt, and you can reference any specific file or context if you want to, and that will just use that for you, or it will just do that automatically. You can see two more things here, which are the max mode and follow. Follow will basically start to open up and show you the diff view of all the files that are being edited. It was not previously available and is newly added. I complained about this issue in the last video, and we now have this feature because you generally want to see the exact code that is being written and halt it in between if it goes off in some tangent. Anyway, you also get the max mode. Max mode is only available if you use Sonnet from the ZAI provider and it will allow you to use the most amount of thinking tokens and context for better generations. Zed's AI provider only seems to support Sonnet as of now. Anyway, you can see the model drop down here, where you can set the model to whatever it is that you want to use. You can also set up your API keys and providers by heading over to the config option. And here you can set whatever provider you want to use, including Olima which is kind of cool. You can also set up the MCP servers that it can use through here as well. You can add MCP servers manually, or you can also use their marketplace, which has some good MCP servers that you can just plug and play. I use Context 7 a lot, and it has that. So, I can just hit Install, and it will get that done for me, which is kind of cool for sure. It doesn't require you to navigate through a ton of files and set it up like that, which is kind of cool. Anyway, now if we go back, we also have another thing at the bottom, which is profiles. You get three profiles by default, which are write, ask, and minimal. Each profile allows you to give it a specific set of tools or MCP servers. So like, the red profile will not have the right tools, or the just chat will not have any tools, and the right profile will have all tools. You can configure these or make your own profile by hitting the configure option, which will open up this option to customize an already made profile or create a new one. Each one will allow you to fork it in order to make a new profile with the same characteristics, or you can edit the tools by heading over into it. And here you can just check which ones you want or don't. And the same is also applicable for the MCP servers. This is pretty good for customization and keeping profiles with specific tools and stuff like that. Now, using it is simple. Just send in your prompt and it will get started on it. It can also look at linting errors and stuff, similar to what RuCode, Klein, or Windsurf can do, which is kind of great. If you have the follow mode, then it will also show you the files being edited. If we wait a bit, then it's now done, and you can see the files that it has made, and the diff view, and you can just approve them, and then the task is done. You can also run multiple agentic tasks at once, and it will keep on going in the background as well, which is kind of great. Apart from the agentic stuff, you already have the inline assist, as well as auto-completion and stuff like that. So, this basically makes Zed the only AI code editor that is extremely fast, 
has all the capabilities that you'd want, and is not forked from VS Code. It is really tightly integrated with the AI features, which just makes it kind of amazing to use. I think that this will probably be the AI editor of my choice to recommend, and it is really good at the stuff it does while being extremely fast and taking a super low amount of memory footprint. You should really give this a try and use it, and you'll probably switch with how good this editor is and how fast it is. I really like it, and this is going to be the AI editor of my choice from now on. Overall, it's pretty cool. Anyway, share your thoughts below and subscribe to the channel. You can also donate via Super Thanks option or join the channel as well and get some perks. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.